You know, this is, uh, I think, that uh, James J. Dillon has a big surprise for me. <laughs> I do. As you know, David and Paul, I just returned from a world tour that encompassed Africa with the Zambui Express, and upon arriving back in the States, it became apparent to me that the Long Riders wanted to invade the Mid-Atlantic Worldwide Wrestling Area, which left me in a real dilemma with the Zambui Express committed to come here. So I had to make a decision to turn the reins of the Zambui Express over, and as difficult a decision as it was, there's only one man in all of professional wrestling other than myself who has the capability to handle 730 pounds of wrestling talent, and of course that is number one, Paul Jones, my very good friend and associate. And Paul, Mr. Elijah Akeem apparently has prepared a statement on behalf of the Zambui Express that he has asked me to read. My tremendous accomplishments in the world of professional wrestling for the last several years have gone virtually unnoticed because of archaic thinking on the part of the establishment. I, Elijah Akeem, made a personal decision to return to Africa in search of my roots, in search of the truth, and to reevaluate my priorities. As of this moment, I will be addressed as Mr. Elijah Akeem, a name more consistent with my heritage. And with my partner, Mr. Kareem Mohammed, we intend to right the many injustices we have been forced to endure over the past 200 years. We no longer have to beg for the recognition we deserve. At a combined weight of 730 pounds, the Zambui Express now demands the proper respect of all parties concerned. Our ring attire is symbolic, a constant reminder of our stand, a position we are unwilling to compromise. We serve notice but once. Those who fail to heed our warning and who fail to conform to our demands will be dealt with in the only way that individuals with backward thinking can understand. Mr. Paul Jones hope an old contract for their services and they're prepared to prove their point. The revolution begins. Congratulations, Paul Jones. 